welcome to another day full of fun and learnings. Before we begin, please make sure that you have with you a pen, paper, and your learning activity sheet in grade 5. I am Teacher Glossy from Bunot Elementary School and I will be your teacher for today. Don't worry, I will guide you every step of the way. Are you ready? That's great! Let's start! Can you recall our lesson last week? Very good! We learned last week that adjectives are words that describe animal, person, thing, or thought. They include words that describe what something looks like and what it feels to touch, taste, or smell. They can also be colors or words that describe temperature and sizes. There are five different kinds of adjectives. First, descriptive adjectives. It describes nouns and pronouns. Second, when proper nouns describes other nouns and pronouns, they become proper adjectives. Third, demonstrative adjective refers to something or someone. It includes this, that, these, and those. Fourth, a possessive adjective talk about possession or ownership. Fifth, compound adjective. It is composed of two or more adjectives joined together to describe the same noun. For today's lesson, we will talk about composing clear and coherent sentences using adverbs of frequency in daily conversations with others. People use words that describe how often certain actions happen, and these words are called adverbs of frequency. To explain further what adverbs of frequency are, let's read the passage and answer the questions that follow. I'm Anna. I am a grade 5 pupil in Kambulaga Elementary School. As an eldest child, I often help my mother do household chores like cleaning the house, watering the plants, and washing the dishes. During my free time, I sometimes read my books. Now, let us answer the questions. Who is talking in the passage? Did you say Anna? Very good! Next, what does she do as an eldest child? That's right! As an eldest child, she often helped her mother do household chores like cleaning the house, watering the plants, and washing the dishes. Third question, what does she do during her free time? Correct! During her free time, she reads books. How often does she help her mother do the household chores? Yes, she often helps her mother do the household chores. How often does she read her books? Very good! She sometimes reads her books during free time. Adverbs of frequency usually come before an action word it describes. In this sentence taken from the passage, identify the adverb of frequency used. As an eldest child, I often helped my mother do household chores. So, what adverb of frequency was used? Very good! The adverb of frequency used in this sentence is the word often, followed by the action word help. Adverbs of frequency tells us how often an action takes place. 
There are six main adverbs of frequency and they differ in the level of frequency. Now, let's look at the table being shown. In the first column, we have the personal pronouns such as I, you, and we. Next is the adverbs of frequency. An easy way to remember the meaning of frequency is to match them with their percentage on how often an action is done. When talking about frequency, 100% means you do something all the time and 0% means you never do it. The adverb always means 100% of frequency. It means it happens all the time. Usually means about 80% while often means 70% of frequency. The adverb sometimes has 50% and rarely has 20% of frequency. Never means 0% or it does not happen at all. The third column shows the action word it describes. Now, let's read these sentences. Pay attention to the adverb of frequency used. I always go to church. We usually go to church. You often go to church. I sometimes go to church. We rarely go to church. You never go to church. You can observe that the meaning of the sentences changes because of the adverbs of frequency being used. Did you take note of the different adverbs of frequency? Great! Prepare your pen and paper. Let's have some practice tasks. Task 1. Doodling adverbs. Rewrite the sentences and insert the adverb of frequency in the parentheses. Number 1. Ramon gets sick. The adverb to be used is rarely. Number 2. She feels unwell but it does not last long. The adverb to be used is sometimes. Number three, Arman eats healthy food. The adverb to be used is always. Number four, Julius uses his gadget whenever he is in school. The adverb to be used is never. Number five, people around her wonder what her health secret is. The adverb to be used is usually. You have 15 seconds to rewrite each of the sentences. Timer starts now. Time's up! Are you done? Alright! Let's check! Number 1, you may rewrite it as Ramon rarely gets sick For number 2, if you write She sometimes feels unwell But it does not last long You got it right! For number 3, your answer could be, Arman always eats healthy food. Number four can be rewrite as, 
Julius never uses his gadget whenever he is in school. And for number five, if your answer is, people around her usually wonder what her health secret is. That is correct. Let us have another task. For task two, we have five questions. Answer each question in complete sentences using the adverbs of frequency always, often, sometimes, rarely, never, or not at all. Write your answers on your paper. For number one, how often do you answer your homework? Number two, how often do you play with your friends? Number three, how often do you use your cell phone? Number four, how often do you visit your grandparents? Number five, how often do you read books? You have 15 seconds to accomplish this task. The time starts now. Okay, are you done? Great! Let's check. For task 2, here are some of the possible answers. Take note that your answers may differ from the given sentences. Number 1. How often do you answer your homework? Your answer could be, I always answer my homework at home. Number 2. How often do you play with your friends? You may write, I rarely play with my friends. Number three, how often do you use your cell phone? If your answer is, I often use my cell phone, that is correct. Number four, how often do you visit your grandparents? You may write, I rarely visit my grandparents because of the pandemic. Number five, how often do you read books? I always read books at home. If that's your answer, then it is correct. Now, let's move on to task 3. For practice task 3, let the pictures talk. Study the pictures found in your learning activity sheet. Then, compose a sentence about it using any of these adverbs of frequency. Always, often, Sometimes, rarely, and never. Let us check your answers. Remember, your answers may differ from the given sentences, therefore it is advised that you submit your paper to your teacher for checking. Here are some of the possible answers. Number 1. I always eat breakfast before I go to school. Number 2. Kyle and Jay often help their mother in cleaning their yard. Number 3. Mrs. Chavez Never let her kids miss their breakfast for it's the most important meal of the day. Number 4. John 
sometimes read a story for his sister Karen. Number 5. Lara often plays with her sister and mother at home. Now, let's proceed with the assessment. For letter A, encircle the adverbs used in the following sentences. Number 1. Mother, I usually take a nap after lunch to rest for a while. What is the adverb of frequency used? Did you encircle the word usually? That is correct. Number two. Auntie. Me too. But with my grandchildren living with me, I rarely do it now. What is the adverb of frequency used? Did you encircle the word rarely? You're right. Letter B. Complete the short dialogue with appropriate answers using adverbs of frequency. George Hi, Rose Rose Oh, hello, George. What brought you here? George Actually, I want to ask you about our experiment in science. I heard you did well in growing mungo seeds. Rose Well, blank George How often do you put them under the sunlight? Rose Blank George Amazing! How often do you apply the fertilizer Miss Ella told us to use? Rose Blank George. Thanks, Rose. You're a great help indeed. I will also be planting mungo in my backyard garden. For the dialogue, here are some of the possible answers. George. Hi, Rose. Rose Oh, hello George. What brought you here? George Actually, I want to ask you about our experiment in science. I heard you did well in growing mungo seeds. Rose Well, I often water my mungo plants. George How often do you put them under the sunlight? Rose I always put it under the sun George Amazing! How often do you apply the fertilizer Miss Ella told us to use? Rose I sometimes apply the fertilizer around my plants to give it some nutrients George Thanks Rose you're a great help indeed. I will also be planting mungo in my backyard garden. Please take note that your answers may differ from the given answer. I advise you to submit your answers to your English teacher for checking. The last activity was challenging, but I know that you tried your best to make your sentences clear and coherent. Before we end our lesson, let's summarize what we have learned today. Today, we learned that adverbs of frequency tells us how often an action takes place. There are six main adverbs of frequency and they differ in the level of frequency. These adverbs of frequency are always, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. Writing a sentence, keep in mind that you should always use the appropriate adverbs of frequency that match the idea that you want to convey. 
This is to avoid confusion and ensure that your sentence is clear and coherent. And this ends our lesson for today. I hope you have fun learning. See you in the next episode of our lesson in English 5. Always remember that in learning, you have to keep going on no matter what. Keep safe. Again, this is your teacher Glossy signing off.